Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. I am here breastfeeding my little one and figured it would be a really good time to talk about um, how you would know when your baby is full. So I have about four tips that will show you that your baby is full and that your baby is adequately getting enough to hold him over. So tip number one, is your baby peeping, peeing and pooing? peeing, pooing six to eight times a day. If your baby is pooing and, and peeing, that's how you know that they are getting what they need. Breast milk is full of all the nutrients and vitamins that babies need to grow big and strong. Everything that will help them form a bowel movement, a soft bowel movement that's seedy and yellow like mustard, probably even to the consistency of peanut butter. Um, but if your baby is pooping and peeing, that is how you know that your baby is getting enough. Tip number two. Does your baby possibly fall asleep at the boob with the milk drunk face? This is milk drunk face. That means that your baby is completely satisfied, tummy is full, not a worry or care in the world. So, does your baby fall asleep on the boob? Nice and content? Baby is full. Okay, ah! tip number three. Oh, I know. I... Tip number three. Do you feel a letdown or a tingle in your breast every couple of hours? So, that tingle or letdown that you feel is your milk coming in, the next supply coming in to feed the baby the next time. Um, your breasts fill up. You can kind of feel little nodules or little lumps in your breasts. And um, you know that your milk is there. If you take a shower or something like that, the milk will um, kind of self-express. But that is tip number three. How... Do you know your milk is coming in? It's a tingle, a letdown. That's number three. Number four. You can tell that your baby is getting enough nutrients and food in their tummy from your breast when your breast goes from feeling rock solid hard to soft and pliable, like Play-Doh. So when your milk comes in, um, just before you're at the engorged stage, you get too engorged if you have not fed your baby um, in a sooner amount of time. And you just wait till the latter time. Um, but when your milk comes in, your breast will feel rather hard and it may become uncomfortable if you are becoming engorged. When you feed your baby from that breast, you will notice that that breast starts to soften itself. And become pliable and then you get to be a little bit more comfortable it may even be itchy when it gets big like that um, but once you feed baby it's it's easier it's not itchy um, your nipple or breast may be a little tender um, but your baby has emptied that breast so those are my four tips is baby pooping and peeing um, does baby fall asleep at the breast? Do you feel your letdown or tingle in your breast? And um, does your breast go from feeling hard to soft after a feeding? You do not have to feed a baby for 20 minutes from one side. And you feed your baby until they are full. So your baby will stop when he is finished. If baby empties one side and is still doing feeding cues, put him on the other side at that point. But you don't have to feed baby for 20 minutes on one side, 80 minutes on the other side, or anything like that. Your baby will let you know when he is hungry. But that is my video for today. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thanks for watching. Bye.